All right, everybody, today I'm going to show you how we can both sort and limit documents in MongoDB. To return all documents, we can type db, the name of the collection, dot, then we can use the find method to return all documents. To sort these documents in some sort of order, again, we would type db, the name of the collection, students, dot find method, then we'll do some method chaining. After the find method, add dot, then we will call the sort method. The sort method takes a document. By which field would we like to sort? Let's sort names in alphabetical order. We would type the name of the field, name, colon, then one for alphabetical order, or negative one for reverse alphabetical order. So if we were to sort by alphabetical order, here's the results. We have Gary, then Larry, Patrick, Sandy, SpongeBob. Then reverse alphabetical order, that was... Name, colon, negative one. Now we have SpongeBob, Sandy, Patrick, Larry, Gary. Let's sort our documents by GPA, grade point average. So again, we use the find method, then we'll method chain the sort method. We're passing in a document object with our criteria. We will sort by GPA in ascending order, so we will use one. I'm going to copy this because I'm going to use it later. Okay, now we're sorting by GPA. Patrick has the lowest GPA, 1.5, 2.5, 2.8, 3.2, then 4. To sort our GPA by descending order, we would type GPA negative 1. Then we have Sandy at the top with a GPA of 4, then SpongeBob with 3.2, 2.8, 2.5, 1.5. Now we have the limit method. We can limit the amount of documents that are returned to us. Let's type db.students dot find method dot limit method we will pass the number of documents we would like returned to us as an argument if i would like one document returned to us i will pass in one currently my documents are sorted by object id this would give us the first document of spongebob if i were to use limit three we would be returned three documents spongebob patrick sandy we can combine both the sort and the limit methods too I would like to return the student with the highest GPA. We'll use the find method, then method chain the sort method. We are sorting by GPA. We're going to sort in decreasing order, so negative one, followed by the limit method. I would like just one document. Who has the highest GPA? That would be Sandy with a GPA of four. Who has the lowest GPA? We should sort in increasing order. That would be one, then limit one. So Patrick has the lowest GPA of 1.5. Now let's work with sorting and limiting in Compass. To sort the documents in your collection, you can press more options, then add some sort criteria. I will sort by name. Name, colon, one. Then find. So we have Gary, Larry, Patrick, Sandy, SpongeBob. Then negative one for reverse alphabetical order. SpongeBob, Sandy, Patrick, Larry, Gary. Let's sort by GPA. GPA negative one. That would give us decreasing order. So Sandy's at the top. To limit the amount of documents that are returned, you can enter in a number for the limit box. I will limit the records to one. So we are returned with Sandy. She has the highest GPA. Limit three would give us the top three students or leave limit empty to return all documents. All right, everybody, so that is basic sorting and limiting in MongoDB.